What up guys, it's Misery here, and today I have a tutorial on how to import Cinema 4D text into Photoshop. First off, you're going to need Photoshop and Cinema 4D. Um, you're going to go ahead and open up Cinema 4D. Want to go to the render settings, go to output, do width 1280, and uh, height, you want to do 720. And then want to go to save, check the alpha channel box, save the format to TIFF PSD layers, then file, uh, save it as, I'm saving this as test, um, to desktop, save, then you want to go to options, change the ray depth to 6, then the reflection depth to 2, and the shadow depth to 6. Then you want to exit out of that box, then go to the MoGraph tab, click on text object, instant 3D text, I'm changing this to test. Then, to change the thickness of the text, go to the depth. Uh, 50 is always a good uh, thickness, I think. Um, then you can change the, the size by the height here. Um, then once you have the preferred size you like and preferred thickness, then you uh, double click in this blank box, double click here. Then double click in the blue or uh, anywhere just do any color you want I'm doing blue for this tutorial you can just change the color uh, then click and drag it and see what you, what it's gonna look like click here there uh, that's it says test so then you're gonna wanna zoom in because it's a smaller text that's up to you guys what you wanna do then when you're done click in the inside of this orange little thing and do render to pick render to picture viewer then after it's rendered, just exit out and minimize it, check if it's on your desktop, if it is. Um, and you don't want to go back and make changes. Uh, if you do want to go back and make changes, you can go ahead and save the this whole Cinema 4D project. But if you don't, go, uh, then just click, to, uh, you don't want to save it and quit out the program. Um, then you're going to want to go to open up Photoshop. Then after it's opened, make a new layer or a new project. Make the width 1280 by 720. Um, this is up to you with the sizes in Photoshop, but I'm just doing this for this tutorial. Um, uh, what you're gonna want to do, I you're gonna want to make sure the background contents is on white because if it's on transparent, then you're gonna get a transparent background. Then click and drag this the, the test.tiff into Cinema 4D or Photoshop, sorry. Then click and drag this out of the box. Then you're gonna wanna find the box called channels. Then hold command or I'm trying to remember what the Windows button is uh, button it on your keyboard. Uh, then once it starts getting all these lines around it, hold command again, click and drag it right into this white into the white canvas. And there you go. That's some 40 text in Photoshop. If you're making a YouTube background, um, you can do this to import the text into the background. You just click and drag this into the background instead of it being a blank layer. Um, you can mess around with the layer settings like uh, bubble emboss, contour, contour uh, texture. Give it like a brick texture. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it, you guys. Alright, this is Misery, and have a nice day. Bye.